Hi there, Chris here with 123 Muse. Now let's take a look at our custom video player. Now sometimes you want to add a video player to your page. There's a ton of really good ones on there and we have some really great player widgets available in this month's downloads, but you want to design it to match your client's site. Well, that's fine. You can use our custom video player for that. So here it is. I've just dragged it onto the page. And if we take a look at the settings, there are a ton of settings. And let's just go ahead and preview it because we've got the, um, we've, we've loaded up the video here. So we can see that's playing nicely. Great. Let's turn that off. We can see that First of all, we have all our standard video settings, so we can load up a remote URL video, or we can load up, we can upload a file using the upload file, and then just select the video file that we want. But all of these other settings, let's go through and take a look at those. First of all, let's just switch that back to a remote URL. Okay, so first of all, we have our file area here, so we can upload a fallback image. Of course, we need that for if the player is sitting on a, a device that won't play the video or if the video fails for some reason, then that will still give us a representation of the video. Then we have the controller styles. So these control this color here, the opacity. Uh, we can add a background image. We can add a repeat background so we can control the background image so we could make this look completely different. And if you take a look at the article page that you're on currently, you will see some of the different designs you can do. Then we have our controls width. So that controls the width here. Our base, uh, how high from the base. So at the moment, we've got this set to zero. But notice what happens if we put that, let's say, minus 70. We can see that the player now sits outside of the video area. So it's sitting underneath the video. Um, we can control the border color. And then we come into our buttons. So we have a button padding here. We can change the different buttons so we can load up completely new buttons for this. And then the progress bar here. So we can change whether it's square, we can change the roundness of the buttons, we can change the background colors and so on. So you can really build a very different looking um, player very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to change some settings here just to give you an idea. So let's uh, set this at, um, let's say, um, let's set this at 10. And we're just going to bring this back up again. So we're just going to let that bounce into the right size. There we go. So we we'll set that at 10. Then we'll set this at 0 0.9 width here. So you can see that that goes in a bit and then we'll set our control corners to 100 and then we're going to change our main color let's change that to a red and all of a sudden we have a new player completely new looking player so let's just preview this now so we can see here let's our videos playing nicely that's great and we have our nice looking player there and everything's working great. So with just a few clicks, you can create your own custom player. Now there's lots of options here and um, to get the player to look exactly how you want, yeah, you would need to do some experimentation, but I think you'll agree that this is a really useful tool if you want to build a completely unique player for your client and it's part of this month's downloads. So go ahead and download it and enjoy. Thanks for watching.